Coronation Street, the world's longest-running TV series since 1960, has captured the hearts of millions of viewers. With emotional and realistic stories, the series not only reflects the daily lives of people in Manchester, but also features characters that leave a deep impression. Join us as we look back at the Coronation Street cast from their early days to discover how they have changed over time. The images, stories, and careers of the actors will surprise and delight you. Simon Gregson plays Steve McDonald in 1989 when 15 years old, a young and dynamic man who always encountered trouble in life and love. Steve is the central character of the series with many dramatic love and marriage stories. After the series ended, Simon continued his acting career and became one of the show's famous actors. He has received many awards and honors, including 17 awards for comedy and acting. Now at 49, he lives with his wife and three children. He's been open with his battle with anxiety and has found support from family and friends. In addition to acting, he's also involved in charity and is a passionate supporter of the mental health organizations. When I went to the doctors about that stupid mole, he said to me, he said, he said I was depressed. Such questions, I think. And it suddenly dawned on me when I was, when I was answering this particular question that, of course they film it in the winter, it must be cheaper to hire this. William Roach played Ken Barlow in 1960 when he was 28, a smart and ambitious man who always finds a way to overcome difficulties in life. Ken is a central character in the series with many complicated relationships and dramatic love stories. After the series ended, William Roach continued his acting career and became the oldest TV actor in a continuous role recognized in the Guinness Book of Records. He received many awards and honors, including an OBE for the services to the arts. Now at 92, he lives with his family and often participates in charity activities and community events. This is the birds. He wanted to marry me. <laughs> I enjoy going around with the gallery with you. Good. Hmm. By the way, I looked up a story of yours uh, yesterday, one you wrote last week about the... What has happened? I'm not blaming anyone. I don't try to justify, but I would never say that. There is no punishment. There is none. Um, but so you uh, genuinely... Uh... Jane Denson played Lynn Badersby in 1997 when she was 19, a strong and determined woman who tries to protect her family and friends. Lynn is an important character in the series. After the series ended, Jane Denson continued her acting career and became one of the show's most famous actors. She has received many awards and honors, including the Lifetime Achievement Awards at the British Soap Awards. Now at 45, she lives with her family and participates in charity activities. She's also an art lover and regularly participates in exhibitions and acting workshops. Sister sat down here having herself a drinking orgy. You what? She means Mickey and Pete. So what are you shouting at me for? Because you shouldn't have let him in, Leanne. If you can't see He's Sammy Six. And can they, do they watch? Can they tell the... Not the really. Too young, yeah, really? They, they, they're kind of not really aware. They know Mummy's in Coronation Street and sometimes right. people approach us on this. Barbara Knox played Rita Sullivan in 1964 when she was 31, a strong and determined woman who always found a way to overcome difficulties in life. Rita is an important character in the series, with many dramatic love and marriage stories. After the series ended, she continued her acting career and became one of the show's most famous actors. She has received many awards and honors, including an MBE for the services to the arts. Now at 90 years old, she lives with her family and participates in charity events. She also wrote books about her career and life experiences. That big fat check Tony Gordon's dangling in front of your nose. You know, not long back, you were scared witless by some yobs robbing that till. <sighs> Who's to say what'll happen? And they start forgetting things. And I thought, well, I hope I've got that right because that is so real. Mm. And we got that marvellous response and we got mm. that... Helen Worth played Gail Platt in 1974 when she was 23 years old, a strong and determined woman who tries to protect her family. She's an important character in Coronation Street with many tumultuous love and marriage stories. After the series ended, she continued her acting career and became one of the show's most famous actors. She has received many awards and honors, including the Lifetime Achievement Award at the British Soap Awards. Now at 73, she lives with her husband and participates in charity activities and community events. She also wrote books about her career and life experiences. Uh, got your own private phone here, have you? <laughs> yes, yeah. the office. Oh, it's always the office. They want to know where my story on working men's clubs is. Oh, and where is it? <laughs> Still in here. Music. My mum allowed me to come down for the audition 
for a birthday present. Uh, what she didn't expect was for me to get the job. That Sue Nichols played Audrey Roberts in 1979 when she was 36, a strong and determined woman who always tried to protect her family. Audrey is an important character. After the series ended, Sue continued her acting career and became one of the show's most famous actors. She has received many awards and honors, including the Lifetime Achievement Award at the British Soap Awards. Now at 80 years old, she lives with her family and participates in charity activities and community events. She is also a passionate supporter of women and children's rights. Mood, huh? Hey. You're whistling. You never whistle. Well, I do. Sometimes. Only when you're in a good mood. So spill. Come on. Shona's coming home. Because, um, I was going to say, thank you so much. Really, it's ridiculous. I was paid for all those things, you know. <laughs> David Nielsen played Rock Hopper in 1995 when he was 46, a gentle and devoted man who always tried to protect his family and friends. Roy is an important character in the series, with many touching roles and meaning stories. After the series ended, David Nielsen continued his acting career and became one of the show's most famous actors. He has received many awards and honors, including the Lifetime Achievement Award at the British Soap Awards. Now at 75, he is living with his family and participates in charity activities. He is also a sports lover and often participates in running competitions to raise funds for charity. Electrics through there and stopcocks under the stairs. Oh yes, I found them. Th there is a stopcock in your kitchen, but it only shuts off the water. It's amazing. I mean, he was a good character. I mean, he was certainly a good character on the page and I thought there was a, there was a bit more in it. Um, but 25 years is <laughs> wasn't expected. Michael Lavelle played Kevin Webster in 1981 when he was 17, a hardworking and dedicated mechanic who tries to protect his family. Kevin is an important character in the series. After the series ended, Michael Lavelle continued his acting career and became a famous actor. He went through many personal challenges, including a lawsuit and a battle of alcoholism. Now at 59, he lives with his family and often participates in charity activities and community events. He is also a passionate supporter of children's rights. I still at Mavis's. All week. I mean, that sounds horrible because I'd love to see her, but... Are you sure there's no going back? <sighs> she wouldn't want to know. She's not soft. Like, seven in the morning till half past six, seven o'clock at night, and it was fantastic, you know, doing all the mucking out and um, riding out. Beverly Collard played Liz McDonald in 1984 when she was 27, a strong and determined woman. Liz is an important character in the series. After the series ended, Beverly Collard continued her acting career and became one of the show's most famous actors. She has received many awards and honors, including an MBE for the services to the arts. Now at 67, she lives with her husband in Norfolk and often participates in charity. She is also a fitness enthusiast and often takes yoga and Pilates classes. Tina, take your break. Hey, you'll need another sit down once we work out what you owe us in damages. Mm -hmm. You can dream on. Right, that is your final one. Worst thing is, I hate watching myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you forced me to do that. <laughs> I know we're all sitting there watching you intently. 30 good years though, 30 good years. Sally Dynever plays Sally Webster in 1986 when she was 23. A strong and determined woman who tries to protect her family. She's an important character in Coronation Street with many tumultuous love and marriage stories. After the series ended, Sally Dynever continued her acting career and became one of the show's most famous actors. She has received many awards and honors, including an MBE for her services to the arts. Now at 61, she lives with her husband and her three children and often participates in charity activities and community events. She is also a breast cancer survivor and currently a spokesperson for awareness campaigns about the disease. Come on! Tell me. What did he say? What did he say? The cardiologist. Did he give you the green light? Are we all cleared for takeoff? <sighs> it seemed to. No, well, that was me. I wouldn't have gone and got it seen to, to be honest, if it wasn't for the story. So, yeah. an er early diagnosis, obviously, is, you know, there's a better outcome. Eileen Derbyshire played Emily Bishop in 1961 when she was 30 years old, a gentle and devoted woman who cared for and worried about her community. Emily is an important character of Coronation Street with many touching and meaningful stories. After the series ended, Eileen Derbyshire continued her acting career and became one of the show's most famous actors. She has received many awards and honors, including an MBE for services to the arts. 
Now at 92, she lives with her family and often participates in charity activities. She's also a music lover and often attends concerts and operas. Sergeant Sugden's still in full flight, is he? That's still spring cleaning. You could say that, yes. Oh, hello, are we having visitors? Sorry? When we are sort of very nervous, they said, just relax, she will always put everybody at their ease. Oh. It's obviously her great gift, which is why she... Anne Kirkbride played Deidre Barlow in 1972 when she was 18, a strong and determined woman who tries to protect her family. Deidre is an important character of the series, with many tumultuous love stories and marriages. After the series ended, she continued her acting career and became one of the show's most famous actors. She has received many awards and honors, including the Lifetime Achievement Award at the British Soap Awards. She passed away in 2015 at 60 years old after a short illness. In her later years, she lived with her husband and often participated in charity. Really could um, identify with, you know. No, very much so. I think you're right. That was a lovely description that you said that she was like every woman. Mm. You know, because I think that's true. And, yeah. and she does have flaws. Betty Driver played Betty Turpin in 1969 when she was 49. A strong and determined woman who tries to protect her family, Betty is an important character in the series. After the series ended, Betty Driver continued her acting career. She has received many awards and honors, including an MBE for services to the arts. She passed away in 2011 at 91. In her later years, she lived in Manchester and participated in charity and community events. She was also a music lover and often attended concerts and operas. Right, is that it? Can I go? No, not until Gina gets back. Oh! One rule for the young, another for the old, is that it? Oh, will you stop that? Who is your favourite character in Coronation Street and what do you think when some actors have passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.